Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome to Deep Sixth. This is sort of a spaceship maintenance game. It's a game about being in space, doing stuff in space, and the way that mechanical things break down and you have to deal with them when there's nobody in hundreds of millions of miles to help you. Um, so the short version of the story to this point is that we are an involuntary employee of the Astra Interstellar Corporation. Uh, we committed a crime and were sentenced to prison and then the corporation purchased our corrections contract and put us to work in their involuntary cartography division. So we are desperately trying to work off our sentence and uh, here is the mission with which we are currently doing that. Surveying the nebula for resources and demand in terrestrial markets is a major portion of Astra Interstellar's value proposition. We invite our involuntary cartographers to contribute to our company's success by helping to identify mineral deposits in uncharted sectors. You probably have some idea of what's going on narratively uh, here already. That's to say, it is a grim vision of the future that is not entirely unbelievable. So our objectives are to locate a new mineral deposit, scan seven sectors, and if we were to kill one of those space monsters, that would maybe be good. They might reward us for that. By the way, there's space monsters. That's something we discovered. Uh, the Astra Interstellar Corporation has known about the space monsters for a long time. They're keeping the information from the rest of humanity for reasons. My guess is profit-related reasons. Anyway, let's move on. So we need to uh, we need to scan seven sectors. You can see here the ones outlined in the uh, the more solid color, the brighter color, are places that I've already scanned, but not necessarily places that I've been. What is this? Singularity detected. Do not approach. Yeah, thumbs up. I will not approach. I have a bad history uh, with singularities in space games. Let's go here. There's some kind of anomaly. This will be interesting. Alright, so we've just left the station. This is our horrible, horrible ship. Uh, we've discovered some cosmonite. What is cosmo? Cosmonite is a metal of some kind, right? Check the radar here. A common metal with applications in spacecraft construction. So before we go too much further, uh, let's... Okay, we have the scanner set to full. Here's what we're doing. Here's the schematic of the ship. We have these viewing rooms in a ring around the ship and then the central core with all of the important systems. Let's just pop over to the scanning room and you can see the scanning computer is working. It'll scan all the tiles in a ring around us and then all the tiles in the ring around that and that'll be good. In the meantime, we can do some stuff with this Cosmo, uh, this Cosmo whatever. So let's, nope, that's the manual. Yeah, here's our manual. Hold on, we'll get to it. I'm sure we'll need it in a minute here. So where was that, uh, where's that stuff? The radar has it outside window one. Okay, well let's just mine it. How do we mine it? Hey manual, talk to me about mining. So here's sort of the core of the game. You have problems, space problems. Fortunately, Astra Interstellar has included this very handy manual for you to use. Uh, they do include a PDF version of the manual, and if I were just playing this game by myself, I would have the PDF manual up on my other monitor, but uh, so that you guys can see what's going on, this is how we're doing it here. So, rare minerals. This requires your ship to be equipped with a probe upgrade, and while it turns out I have uh, spent some of my reward credits on uh, company script, basically, on such a probe. So identify the mineral you are attempting to mine, uh, select your mineral and note the suggested laser configuration and power level. Okay. And you can see video tutorials for everything, if that's your deal, uh, also lots of text. Well, laser configuration, so open the laser configuration panel, okay, so there's, uh, there's straight and there's wiggly, we want to set them to wiggly power two. These are important space science terms. Attention pilot. Wiggly. What? The ship appears to be losing battery power. Uh Oh. Is there a problem with the battery? That seems important. Well, it sure is flashing. I click on it. Uh it has a chip in it. The chip looks probably fine. Let's see what the manual has to say about this. Troubleshooting. Uh, I'm having battery issues. Check if the universal controller chip inside the battery is damaged. It doesn't look damaged. If not, you may strike the battery with a heavy blunt object and observe whether operational activity changes. Oh good. 
That sounds like a real strategy that will definitely work. Uh, well, it just so happens I have my space wrench on me. Never leave home without it. Let's just whack the battery with it a bunch of times. Um, the lights are no longer flickering. Right, that seems to have gotten it. I don't know why you have to be a scientist to go to space. This stuff's easy, right? Now, oh, okay, we're shooting the thing. So I need to allocate two power to the laser. We're just gonna shoot the cosmonite. Yeah, that was effective. So now we can click on it and we can send out our probe. Grabby, our retrieval probe. I named it. It's a very, very good name. I mean, listen, I don't want to jinx it, but things are going remarkably smoothly. Scanning computer is scanning. Probe is probing. And nothing's even on fire, which is weird. So I've played about an hour of the game so far, and uh, I died. We're, we're pretty close to the beginning of a new game here. I have to say, this is the calmest it has been in a while, which is good. It's letting me, uh, let me fill you guys in on what's going on. So you can see the probe, doing the probe thing. If I hit the space bar here, you can see all of the interactables in the room. All of these uh, hotspots might potentially be used in some kind of maintenance task. Hey, Grabby. More stuff for you to grab. Um, we should check out the hyperdrive. How's the hyperdrive doing? Okay, 35 seconds till we're charged for the next jump. So the power meter that you've seen in the rooms here, uh, there are laser systems in each of the five viewing rooms, and the scanner, and the hyperdrive, and the targeting systems that control the uh, speed and functionality of this reticle. Attention, uh, pilot. What? You have lost power to this room. Thanks. I certainly I have. Yeah, is it, hold on, is it just this room, or is this, no, the other ones are fine. Okay, that's fine. Troubleshooting. I'm experiencing a viewing room power outage. Uh, okay, we gotta go back in there and check out the power relay panel. Uh, the lights are not blinking. There are no blinking lights. Oh, maybe we just blew a breaker? Okay, uh, that'll be in the reactor room. Yep, that sure is turned off. Are we cool? Are we good? Okay, everything's fine. We're gonna go ahead and retrieve all these minerals. Uh, we don't need these, these are not part of our mission, but the company rewards us for any tasks we undertake that increase their profitability. So we're gonna do this, because maybe it'll help with our sentence. Free incoming. All right, what's going on? Oh, something's coming in. Doing room three. Having a hard time catching my breath. Oh, Attention, okay. There's... Pilot. Atmospheric integrity is compromised. Air supply is a necessary component of pilot survival and is therefore considered uh, desirable for the continued success of the mission. Okay, I can breathe down here. I can breathe down here. Ooh, all right. What is going on with the ventilation right now? Uh, low atmo. Yeah. Search for hull breaches. No hull breaches found. Access. I mean, we should probably search for hull breaches. I don't actually know how to do that. It has the little ring highlighted down there in the lower left. So I guess we'll just check real quick. I don't think anything hit us. No, and in fact, I can breathe in room five. Room four seems okay. Except for the klaxon. No, I can't breathe in room four. Just run around the ship real fast here. You know, while we're panicking, Grabby could be working. Okay, so the ventilation system seems to be down in a couple of the rooms. Let's go back to a safe place and figure this out. Um, okay, if no hull breach is found, access the ventilation interface from the console in the hyperdrive room. Console in the hyperdrive room, ventilation... Okay. Okay, it's part of this. Oh, uh, there's some kind of fan problem in the... whichever one that is. Two, maybe. Two. Ha-ha! <laughs> I can remember numbers over short periods of time. Uh... Are we experiencing a mechanical failure or a software failure? Was that... Was that clear to me? 
It looks like the fan is the problem. Strike the affected ventilation fan with a heavy... Alright. Well, still have my wrench, right? Okay, so we're just going to go into room 3 and bang on the ventilation system. Or room 2, rather. That seems like a good idea. Okay. Uh... Wait. Am I cool? Is this even the right thing? I'm just hitting the vent. This probably is not right. That... That do it? That did not do it. Um... It shows an image of the vent. I think we're supposed to hit the vent. Alright, I'm gonna go back up there and hit it again. Yeah, hitting it again shouldn't work, but hitting it in the first place also shouldn't work. So, apply that logic in space. Are we good? Did I, did I fix it with my wrench? I did not fix it with my wrench. It might be a software issue. Let's try to figure out if it's a software issue. I gotta stop closing the troubleshooter. You can just back out of the manual without... Okay. Go to the viewing room console. Select and reinstall corrupted ventilation drivers. Okay, that's probably not a wrench sort of problem. Uh... System drivers, ventilation... Everything seems to be fine. Yeah, there's just no air in these rooms. I'm gonna hit it with my wrench one more time. Now let's go hit this room's vent with the wrench. Wait, where even is the vent in this room? What's over here? Cunningly concealed behind our backpack. Okay, we'll uh... Take a deep breath. The ventilation, the actual drivers, all the software seems to be fine. See, and observe whether operational activity changes makes me a little nervous because I don't, what if it doesn't? What if it doesn't do that, though? This must not be the way we're intended to interact with this. Oh, there's a diagnose button. I wonder if that's... if I had to diagnose it prior to hitting it with the wrench? Or it may just be that you have to hit it a bunch of times? Who knows? This thing is... The ship is old and in disrepair. <laughs> okay, we got it. So we've done a bunch of scanning. Yeah, we're actually cool. We scanned seven sectors, this whole outer ring. But we'll get paid if we kill a creature. And we should probably do that. There's some kind of unknown life form here, and also an anomaly, and I think that it is to our benefit to do a little bit of exploration. It's possible that we should not stand right next to the hyperdrive while uh, while keying in the, the jump command. I can see how that would be the case. Alright, let's... Spend some time spinning up the hyperdrive, keep the scanner running. I'm detecting Lycanium. What? Viewing room four that should be visible from. Whoa, it's freezing in here. Oh. What's wrong with the okay. Right, what's wrong with the ship is it's a piece of garbage. That's what. Uh coldness. Extreme coldness. Accurate reticle, scanner failure. Cabin temperature. Okay, from the ship's onboard temperature control, you can identify the source of thermal fluctuations and identify solutions. And that's in the hyperdrive, or it's in the reactor room. The what now? The atmosphere gauge, shield regulator. Okay, it's cold here due to computer chips. That's true. That's, that's almost certainly the case. Uh, if part of the ship is too cold because of a driver failure, Temperature drivers must be repaired from a viewing room console. But it just says a viewing room console, not the viewing room console. So can I do this from any of them? Okay, I need to fix... Okay, 
06.14. Let's go up to a different a different room here. Uh, temperature, yep, that's busted. Okay, reinstall it. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, we will suspend the driver. Then we will reinstall it. Except the exchange, okay, fine. We will suspend this. And then reinstall this. There we go. Easy. We should probably get this running again, though. Can, can we unsuspend it? No, I've resuspended it. Uh, what did it say? Okay, fil fil the filters thing has to be suspended. And it's getting kind of cold in here without this stuff online. We gotta fix this. Okay, and can we just reinstall this? Okay, easy. Good. We're good. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Warming up. So, viewing room four. Whoa, it's freezing in here. It shouldn't be, is it? I mean, it's, it may still be... The temperature is still writing itself. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Lacanium. Okay, we kind of know how this works, right? So we need... Straight lasers at level four. Also, I'm kind of surprised that we haven't encountered whatever life forms were supposed to be... Uh, detected in the sector by now. Attention, pilot. Spoke too soon. Motion detected right. in the sector. Being room one. What do we have? Nothing. I see no things. Let's just preemptively charge the laser. Oh, it's some kind of. It's a tar bat. I've seen these before. They are tiny and bad. I am not afraid. Our guns are kind of jittery. Oh, updated creature data. Attention, pilot. The ship appears to be losing battery power. Man, okay. This damn thing. Alright, where's my wrench? Okay. For real, though, we are actually uh, slowly depleting our charge here. You may notice that we have fewer bars to work with than we did before. Let's, uh, let's go throw a fuel rod into the reactor. I have some more fuel rods on order, but I don't know how long it's going to take for them to arrive. We're very far from civilization right now. Wow, the radiation detector really jumped up during the brief period that we had that open. Like, a lot more than I was expecting. It's... probably fine? Anyway, I think we've done the thing now, but I want to wait until the scanner is completed. So fortunately, we have a little fast-forward button here. Oh, our probe grabbed probably one of those rocks. Yeah, we can get the other one. Okay, we'll let the scanner complete its scanning, and then we'll head back and we'll pick up another mission. I'm feeling pretty good about the way this went, though. Things were remarkably smooth here. Only a couple of systems broke, and only a couple of times. Uh oh. Just fired. We're What's up? It appears oh. the counter thrusters did not automatically engage. You will need to manually activate them to stop our rotation. Yeah, that would be a good thing. Okay. Uh, troubleshooting. I am experiencing a loss of attitude control. Thruster fuel supply is located below viewing room 4. Unscrew the right console panel in viewing room 4. Uh, well, I can't unscrew it with my wrench. There's lockers in all the rooms. Oh, hey. Lucky us. Oh good, a creature's approaching. This is not a good time for that. Um, it's actually going to be pretty hard to fight. It's not going to stop me from trying. Be pretty hard to shoot stuff accurately. Uh, the reticle's so slow. All right, let's let's go to viewing room four and see if we can solve this problem real quick. So what do we do? We unscrew it. We get a wrench. We um, open the emergency counter thruster release valve. So there's some chance that we might actually take some damage here. Uh, the right the right panel. Uh, wrench this thing open. Were there more steps? Once the ship has come to a stop... Oh yeah, close the thing. Right, that makes sense. Alright, we'll put this back on. Okay, we've rotated around to that thing being visible from viewing room 3. It's making some weird noises. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, what is this? What is this? Okay, it's vomited on the ship. That's fine. Okay. 
Huh, the lasers aren't dealing very much damage. I thought we had more power in them than that. Okay, hold on. Let's pull some power from the scanner. Actually, we can probably pull power from the hyperdrive first. I want the scanner running. Okay, well, now we know that there are tar bats here. Hey, what's up with my lasers not being good now? Lasers are weakening. Open the laser configuration panel in the affected viewing room. Repeated use of lasers can affect their frequency alignment. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Let's go back over there. Configuration panel. I don't know what any of this means. Okay, uh, it is dangerous. Slightly misaligned lasers are less powerful. Firing a laser that is very misaligned can destroy it. Small, if the small needle is too far away from the large needle, you may need to recalibrate. And they're pretty close together, actually. They're, what, like a third of a whatever hertz off? Don't know my Greek characters off the top of my head, apparently. Yeah, that's less than the smallest amount we can adjust it by. I guess we'll just leave it? Could just be a battery issue, because we're, you know, we are experiencing some power loss. I might feed the ship another, uh, another rod here. Hey, is the radiation thing slowly creeping up all the time, even when the bay door is closed? Because it wasn't at 36 last time we... Hmm. The ship does seem to be slowly becoming irradiated. Could we maybe... Make sure the reactor fuel door is closed and not leaking. Yeah, I think it is. Check if the radiation air scrubber is in operation, which is in this room that we're in right now. Uh, radiation scrubber, are you good? Seem okay. You're not shooting sparks or smoke out or anything. It's probably fine. If we get back to the base, the... I'm sure we can just flush it. Okay. Scanner is just about finished. Yeah, okay, 2.75. So we've now scanned all this stuff. We know all of this information for future missions. Uh, I say let's get home and get off of this ship. Because, yeah, we're starting to experience some ra radiation issues. Let's do the radiation maintenance from outside the ship, shall we? Say, so, hey, we collected a bunch of stuff. We've earned ourselves some Astra Rewards points. And, oh good, the stock price has gone up a quarter of a point. Ah. A special mission. My name's Ariel, and I work in Astra's Material Research Division. We've been developing a pheromone-based creature repellent that we hope will protect our cartographers from nebula fauna. We've obtained approval from the Operations Division to have the field testing of this repellent be your top priority. You may have noticed some aerosol canisters were delivered last week to the station. You will, you will load them onto the ship for your next departure, deploy the aerosol in several different nests that we have identified, and record your observations. Oh, well, this is going to kill me. We sincerely believe this new product will dramatically improve pilot survivability. Yeah, maybe for, like, pirates who come after me. Uh, the operations team have been talking, and we think that it's worth upgrading your S6 DSV. That's the ship. Considering all the great success you've brought us lately, go ahead and select an upgrade of your choice. We'll foot the bill. Just keep up the great work. Fine. Fantastic. Uh, first of all, how badly damaged is the ship? We actually didn't take too much damage. Whatever that thing shot at us, it wasn't a big deal. So you can see here our, uh, our, our supplies. So the fuel rods that I ordered came in. That's good. Uh, you know what? I'm going to order another two crates because we've gone through them quicker than I'm comfortable with. Uh, we don't have any distribution nodes, and also I don't even know what distribution nodes are for, but uh, I guess let's order some. And then we have two rewards points left. I think I'm not going to spend a plate on repairing the ship. Actually, you know, we're about to go into a dangerous thing. Sure, let's go ahead and spend some metal. Let's go out in perfect shape, just so that I have some chance of survival. And then we can use the rest of our rewards points to purchase some upgrades. We also have the uh, the materials that we gathered there. Uh, so we can improve our lasers. You can see there's a couple of different upgrade trees here. Spatial Anomaly am Analyzer. Ooh, this could be useful. We're not going to be able to get both of these upgrades. Oh, we might be able to, right, because we get a free one. 
Oh, what about battery? Can we get some better battery stuff? Battery self charges one unit every two minutes. Actually, that sounds fantastic. Please give me that. All right, and then we have a couple of reward points left and some minerals and stuff to trade. Let's, uh... Plus one battery storage. That seems fine, I guess. We could upgrade our probe. Nope, both of the probe upgrades are too expensive. And we could upgrade the ship's armor. That might, <laughs> that might actually be a good idea. Oh, we can upgrade the shields. I haven't used the shields very much yet, because I haven't had to, but we do have we we do have some like temporary pulse shields. You know what? I say more weapon damage. Dead aliens can't hurt us. Alright, I guess let's get on it. Oh, I didn't actually take the mission. Our Xenozoology team has perfected an aerosol spray that will protect our cartography spacecraft from the encroachment of fauna, and we've given you the honor to be the first to test it. <laughs> we have marked a sector where we would like you to begin testing. Please document any changes to fauna behavior and return to Wayfarer 5. That's the station we're on now. Alright, well, five rewards points. This is gonna kill us. I'm gonna... man... okay. Uh, they want us to come here to test it. Sure, in the middle of uncharted space. Why not? I mean, it's only uncharted for us, right? There appears to be a derelict vessel directly ahead of us. It is registered as an Astra Interstellar Solutions vessel, but the hmm. payload is classified. Ooh, classified. Let's check it out. Interfering with Astra Interstellar Solutions property is highly prohibited and could result in an extended sentence. Or, returning lost Astra property could please our corporate overlords and result in a reduced sentence. I am not sure you fully appreciate the enormity of less talking, more probing. I regret how I phrased that. Probe now. Okay, well this isn't interesting wrinkle, I guess. Isn't there supposed to be a nest of hostile creatures here? I doubt that I'm complaining. Let's just charge all the systems, though. This solar sail is gonna hopefully reduce the rate at which we go through fuel rods pretty significantly. Alright, Grabby. Uh, do the thing, I guess. I wasn't aware that he had the coordination necessary to remove cargo from a vessel and bring it back. To be perfectly honest, I don't see any... Wait, is that him? What's going on over there? The probe found an illegal modification connected to the ship's own artificial intelligence unit. Huh. I'm trying to convince it to come back, but it seems to prefer the ambiance over there. What? Oh no. Now the probe is accusing me of being an advanced script. No, I mean the illegal mod. That seems like sentence reducing bait to me. Let's salvage it and bring it home. Of course the probe they gave me is a garbage, uh... It's almost like they don't even want me to succeed out here. Alright, well I mean the radar is pretty... quiet. Got the scanner going as, as fast as it would go. This unit in detail at the station. For the time being, we should return to our mission. So, what's the survival rate for this experiment? This experiment has never been conducted before. I am prohibited from communicating the likelihood of success. Of course you are. If I don't make it, can you tell my parents I'm sorry when they salvage you? In the event that I am salvaged, Astro will pull flight recorder information and then wipe my memory. Music tends to calm pilots in distress, like you. Would you like me to play you a cheerful song? Save Please no. For later. Attention pilot. Okay. Irregular motion detected in the sector. Uh, that's a lot of motion. Okay, there's something out there and also room 5 is about to be swarmed. How do I, uh, help? How do I deploy the thing? D deploy, deploying things. Boy, this is not, okay. Uh, console. 
Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Repellent now. So is it working? The repellent appears to be having the opposite intended effect. Yeah, of course it does. No, nope, this isn't room one. This is room five. Okay. But why is the crosshair all jerky? And we're experiencing power surges in the weapon systems now, at this moment. Okay, well, fortunately, these things don't seem to be very tough. Oh, uh, something is wrong with our lasers. This is not a good time for me to be doing maintenance, probably. Okay, uh, they're splitting up, which is horrible. Ship is taking some minor damage, and we're losing charge rapidly. Well, the lasers are all jittery in here, too. Die. Take a lot of damage. When okay. Impact is imminent. Hit the shields quickly to absorb the blow. Now, like now, oh, they're not working. Oh, they're not working. Okay, that's a lot of things that are supposed to be in the ship that I are coming out there. I think. Okay, we're almost clear. We're almost good. We gotta diagnose what's going on with our lasers. Okay, I am experiencing laser problems. Uh, shaky reticle. Just flip all the breakers? I can do that. I can flip the breakers. Okay, did that actually do the thing? Uh, let's go to room 5 where all the power is. Yes, okay, we are no longer shaky. I am, however, experiencing power surges. Um, this might be a maintenance thing. Regulating power flow. Lasers draw power from battery reserves through a complex network of nodes. Over time, these nodes will get dirty and will need to be cleaned. Each viewing room has its own power node network located behind the left panel next to the console. Power flows from the particle accelerator through eight nodes to the laser capacitor. Oh my god. You control how much power? Uh, okay. Inefficient nodes can be cleaned with a rag. Nodes may only receive a limited quantity of power once before they fail. Node limit deteriorates over time. Man. Okay, let's, let's open up the panel and see what we're talking about here. Where's my screwdriver? Uh-oh. Did I just hear sound? Yep. This is going to have to wait a second. Oh, it's just a bat. I can certainly deal with a tar bat. Although, maybe I spoke too soon. There we go. We're getting some, getting some hits now. Not, not very good hits, it feels like. Okay. <sighs> Where was I? Uh, maybe they're just dirty? They don't look dirty. I don't have a rag on me, though. Is there, there's a locker in each of these rooms. There's got to be a rag somewhere. Uh, we should probably take this. I don't know everything that it can be used for, but I know that it was on the hull breach uh, um, information thing, and... Hull breaches seem like an opportunity, a uh, situation where you want to already have your tools on you. Okay, a rag. Cool. We should probably also have a universal controller board, because, you know, they're universal. Everything in the ship uses them. We might need to replace one at any moment. So do I just... Okay, that didn't do anything. I guess they're not dirty. Well, I mean, we may as well give them all a quick wipe. As long as we're here. Yeah, you can see the laser's actually pretty depowered here. I don't know how we're going to fix this. Oh, it's jumping up. Oh, hey, maybe they were just dirty. It takes a little bit for the power to cycle through or something. That actually seems to have largely corrected the problem. Oh, okay. Uh, radar. Those things can't just be in the same place on all the in all the rooms. 
Uh, do I still have some of that gas? I mean, we should probably... Testing repellent now. So, is it working? The repellent appears to be having the opposite intended effect. It's pretty much what I expected. It's hard to hit stuff at this range with these with the really slow reticle. A new warning. They kind of sound like space seagulls, huh? Alright, we apparently have to clean out this room's panel as well. And it's it's flying faster than the reticle will move. It's frustrating. And yeah, look at how weak the laser is now. And we've lost power to it. Okay. That probably has something to do with it. Yeah, there we go. When we get the the power back, things are a little better. Uh, we are kind of taking a lot of damage. Okay. Where are we still getting hit from? Viewing room five. I do feel like our power is regulated a little bit better. And they're like splitting up. It's like they're trying to evade me. Which is annoying, because that's actually a very effective strategy. Oh hey, you can shoot the spit out of the air. Okay, it seems like the lasers uh, in modulating mode do way more damage to tar bats. So that's something to note. Okay, we're almost clear. Viewing room three... Oh, okay. I think we're good. You know what? Let's just real quick clean all of the power conduits in all the rooms, because the lasers need to be functional. This thing where they sometimes just don't fire when you press the button is going to get me killed. Okay, that's good. There's not really a reason for me to close the panel, is there? Also, how are we doing on the mission? We are we are good. We are good on the mission. I did not mean to click that. Uh, let's just do some real quick maintenance here before we jump out. I'm sure the... Um... Oh, these are all good, actually. I'm sure the hyperdrive is extremely charged by now. All integrity is at 65%. That's a high-ish number. It's probably fine. We might have to recalibrate some of these lasers, too, which is a whole different task. I guess let's let's clean everything and then we'll try to recalibrate stuff because as far as I know we can't actually perform internal maintenance while we're on the station. Uh, it's still kind of a low number. Oh well, hold on. Let's give it a second. Sometimes it takes a moment. Mm, it's still kind of bad. This one might have to be recalibrated too. Oh no, there we go. Okay, it snapped in. Just takes a minute to register. Of course, our monitors are not real time. That makes sense. Okay, so we did this already, and Viewing Room 4 should... Viewing Room 4 was good, but then we used the laser a bunch. Alright, I think we're gonna be okay. And the, like I said, the hyperdrive is definitely charged by now, so if anything jumps in, we're just gonna jump out. I'm not fighting anything else. Wow, yeah, the laser is really weakened here. Out of curiosity, uh, where is the... Here. Oh yeah, this this room, it's way off. Alright, we know how to fix that, right? Yeah, recalibration. If the small needle's too far away, you need to recalibrate it. You need to manipulate the large needle so it's as close as possible to the small needle, which means we need the large needle to go down by one unit. Okay, hold on a second. Let's look at this. So... We're doing RGB math. 
Um, so all of these lights are red. These two are also blue. These ones are blue. All the lights are red. Those ones are blue. Yeah, and then these three are green. Awesome. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, no big problem. Uh, let's just real quick pop open the laser configuration panels in all the rooms. This could go down by a half, or sorry, up by a half, up by a half. So it's all blue and the top row is also red. Cool. Just, <laughs> just real quick, just a little bit of maintenance because otherwise we might die. This needs to come down about a half. So they're all red, the, the middle three are blue, and these ones are green. Okay, pretty close. As close as we can get it. Uh, this one needs to go up by one. So... These are red, those are green. Oh, the needle just moved. Hold on, let's see what it is before we make any decisions. The single tar- you know what? No, I'm leaving. The hyperdrive is completely unpowered. That's true, I did do that. Uh, the hyperdrive is- okay. Hyperdrive is experiencing a power failure. So we're going to go ahead and just kill some stuff real quick so that I can have some time to diagnose that. Hold on, I want to flip the lasers to modulated mode. Because they're way more effective against the bats that way. I do have to hit them, though. Oh, man. No, this is not a good time for this. Uh, hyperdrive. Can I hit it with something? Oh, wow, it is really... Shoot. Yeah, it's really screwed up. Okay, this is going to require some time. So I'm going to go to viewing room two. Power down, power up, and... Fortunately, someone just recalibrated all the lasers, and it turns out they're very effective right now. And there's the first power surge. Already, things are not good again. <laughs> Kind of the name of the game. I figure by this point you probably have some idea whether this is the thing for you or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this mission. Oh wow, the lasers should be in steady mode. I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull some power from the targeting system, which makes the reticule even slower. But we're just having some we're having some minor power issues right now. Okay, we're almost done. I really want these to be in steady mode. Whew, okay. Uh... Hey, the hyperdrive won't... hyper... The hyperdrive shows the cube is misaligned red. Oh boy, okay, hold on. Let's go diagnose. The hyperdrive is unpowered, completely unpowered. That's a... I have to put some power into the hyperdrive before we can diagnose it. I also just need to put some power into the ship. See, that's more like what I expect the radiation detector to do. So what's up? We are matched and aligned. Okay, no, we're good. We can... All the sparks and steam are just because of all the damage to the hull. And then a plot cutscene happened, which I have edited out 
so as not to spoil anything for those of you who want to play the game yourselves. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I think this is pretty cool. I'm definitely going to put some more time into it. Come back next time. Of course, lots more videos coming. And we'll see you then.